Hi, this is Chris with Cloud Computing for Kids. Today we're going to be looking at Amazon Workspaces. So first go ahead and open up the Workspace console. And as you can see, we are not in a region that is supported. We are in California, so I will now switch it to one of the supported regions over there. So Virginia is supported, so I will switch it. And now we're into the console. So get started and quick setup. So we have two free tiers that we're eligible for, the Linux one and the Windows 10. I will be using Windows 10. So here, go ahead and put in your information. I will be using the username user. And the email uh, is your email. Uh, whatever email you want, it doesn't really matter. But you will need to access this email later on. So I will now launch the workspace. And it takes uh, quite a bit of time, around 20 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut forward until, uh, when it's finished loading. And as you can see, it's now available. So we're going to have to open up the email from earlier. And as you can see, there's three important things down there. Uh, the first one is the link we have to click. Uh, and this is important because uh, we have to get the download information. So we have all the information in there already. And we're just going to put in our password. And uh, put in the password twice to confirm it. And finally, we can create the user. So now we choose our device that we're using. I'm on Windows, so I will be using the Windows download. And I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Um, next, uh, we open this, and we have to put in the registration code, which was in the email from earlier. And finally, we're going to put in the username also from the email. Uh, I put in user as my username, so it's going to be user here. And as you remember, we put the password in earlier, and it's the same exact password. And finally, we have our workspace all loaded up. And as you can see, it's Windows 10 because I chose Windows 10 earlier. And to delete this, we are just going to go ahead back into the console, actions, and remove workspace. And finally, uh, we can go ahead and refresh and see that it, uh, the workspace is terminating.